Hello y'all and welcome. I am Gun Asylum and here today I'm going to show you guys how to install the hack slash mine mod for your Minecraft server and client. So, step one, we're going to download all the necessary files. So, you will find all the links in the description. All you do is just wait out three seconds. Add and then download. Let that download. And I'm going to be putting all my stuff into one folder for now, just to hold on to it. So we just downloaded the uh, Minecraft version changer, which we'll be using to backdate our Minecraft and to get the appropriate server file. Um, so next thing we're going to download is the actual hack slash mod. Let's load. Download. Copy. Paste. Now the next thing I'm going to download is my own file, which is the batch file that I use to run the server with uh, extended RAM. If you see my previous videos, uh, I did one where I showed you how to do this but I created batch files for it and you can download those directly instead of making your own. So. Da, 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 da. Dink. Uh. And now I'm also going to be installing Optifine just because it's a really fun and useful tool and most people will be using it. So let it get ready to download, waiting for it to download. Download. Ooh. Okay, so now that you've got the four files downloaded or prepared, the next thing we're going to do is gather up the jar files that we need. Now, to do this, the first step is to start up your Minecraft uh, client. And as soon as you start it up, what you're going to want to do is hit options and force an update. Then just click login, let it download. Now once the game starts up, go ahead and close it, come in here and find the MVC file and extract it. And the file you're going to want to use is the Minecraft version changer. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the desktop. Because for some reason when I don't use it on the desktop it doesn't quite work right. I'm going to click uh, 1.2.3, server available. Now it's going to pop up. And it's going to I'm going to find the folder which is a transfer folder. That's where I want to put my stuff right now. Click save. Uh you'll get a quick pop up here. Uh oops. The next thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and select 1.2.3 again and we're going to click change. This will uh change our actual Minecraft client to 1.2.3 so that is hack slash uh uh available. Okay, go ahead and close that. And in here you'll see that the server folder is now in here. Now what I want to do is go ahead and get rid of the underscore full 1.2.3 because I don't need that. Refresh. There we go. I have to refresh because of a I'm having a processor issue at the moment. Um okay, so I don't need this anymore. Refresh. Okay, next thing I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and extract hack slash mine. Fresh. Alright. Now, 
first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, edit the server, which I'm going to go ahead and right click on it. I'm going to go with open, and I'm going to open it with a WinRAR archiver. Now, if you have a different kind of zip program, you have to figure out how to do this yourself. I use RAR or WinRAR. Okay. Now, what you want to copy is everything inside the server folder. So, copy everything in here. Then I'm going to go ahead and Control V to paste. Give it a second. Okay. And then also in the textures folder, there will be a folder called lang, which stands for language. Copy the whole folder and paste it in here. Give it a second. There it is. Okay. Now you're done with the server folder. So that's done. Now, as far as the client, if you don't know how to get to your actual Minecraft client, the easiest way is to open up Minecraft and under texture packs, click open texture pack folder and give it a second. Basically, you'll be inside of here. Basically, just go up a level and find the bin folder and then scroll down, scroll through there until you find the Minecraft folder or minecraft.jar file which is this one and what you're going to want to do is you're going to open that the same way you open the uh, minecraft server jar in this case I'm going to use winrar and the first thing you want to do is delete the meta or meta dash inf so delete that don't need that and then the next thing we're going to do is open up the client folder copy everything into the RAR then uh, textures copy it all paste it into the or yeah paste it into the RAR and finally we're gonna use the Optifine well no I'm sorry not yet but uh, the next thing you're gonna do we're gonna use Optifine so we're gonna go ahead and extract Optifine we're gonna copy all the full, all the stuff that Optifine just uh, emptied out for us. So in this case, it's all these things. Copy these, paste these inside, and then finally, inside of this folder, we're gonna copy this uh, the fix. We're gonna paste it in here, and then uh, the last thing we gotta do close the RAR. Uh, I have to transfer this over real quick. Hold on. Let me open up the other the other computer. When you get ready to actually start up the server part, uh, obviously you create a new folder or a new server folder, whatever you want to do. In this case, I'm going to say MC hex slash. Open it up. Where's the run 64? Because it's a 64-bit processor. And da, 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 Minecraft server. Oops. Da. Okay. Then now the next thing I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run the server. Let it run. Now keep in mind I'm running it directly from the jar file first. You always should run it from the jar file first. Da, 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 da. Okay, it's done. I'm going to close the server. Okay. And then I'm going to run the 64 bit batch file. Okay, that's done. And then back over here, I'm going to go ahead and start up Minecraft. And the first thing you'll see is this information about the newest updates. And I'm going to go ahead and click multiplayer. I'm going to find the computer. I'm going to join it. And all you do is you figure out what you want to be and who you want to do and how you want to do Oh, I'm underwater. Uh, i got way too many things running. I can't actually play the game. But yeah, that's how you play uh, Hack Slash Mine. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and I will try to help you the best I can.